Tim Watts from the local land services. We're here today to discuss the con converting contour banks into, into swales. I'm here with, uh, with Roger Ottery, the landholder, Soilcom boys, Dave Cox and Charlie Simpkins. Before, I make, before we get into it though, there's a couple of um, important points. Um, you, if you've still got access to primary tillage gear like disc ploughs, if you own one or got access to it, probably don't even think about this. The crucial thing though is that you must have decent ground cover. In fact, you've basically got to have 100% ground cover 100% of the time. So if you're able to achieve that, you can consider the conversion of some of these um, older contour banks in that sort of country into the ability to retain water as much as possible. Okay, Rog, we're standing in the newly constructed sill of this um, um, uh, little block that we've put in here to create the swale back that way. What was the motivation that sort of got you into thinking about doing this sort of work? Um, really, it was uh, seeing water move off the paddock and wanting to keep more water on the paddock and lift the fertility and ground cover in that paddock and the, I think the wetter we keep this paddock rather than drain it off after the rain, um, the longer the better. Yeah, because contour banks, when they get a bit of age on them, you'll get depressions through there. So when we peg them out, we want to make sure that there aren't sort of too many low patches in there. Badly uh, worn out contour banks are worse than no contour banks. So the decision is, do you wipe them out or do you do something like this? So this was the thought to try this out. Yeah. As far as the design of the, it goes, it's really good to be able to start with, say, an air photo of the place, plot in where the banks are. Now, not all banks are the same. It's a good idea to run a level across and make sure that they are actually graded banks. There should be about 20 centimetres fall every 100 metres on a Silicon graded bank. The construction of the swales and the existing contours is done by stripping the topsoil from the sill site and ensuring that the sill is level, placing a binding rip under the proposed block site, placing the material over the top and compacting at the same top level as the existing bank and spreading the topsoil over to encourage revegetation. Which usually start at the bottom of the bank, we put a block in there and then we level back to see where we can spill the water out onto a ridge so that it can spread out as much as possible. And then uh, the next one then, uh, we've got say 20 centimetres every 100 metres. If we've got sufficient height in the, in the bank, we may be able to go back 100, 150 metres and we put another sill in and we try and offset them so that they're not going onto each other. <laughs> 